Great. All right. So at the beginning of that, you said personal and an area of personal growth. Does that mean you two have conflicts that you kind of can't navigate through as easily or have you mastered them all by now? Well, I'll, I'll never master it all because as long as we're growing, we're going to have different conflicts. So I would say that I've expanded in my ability to manage conflict. But yes, I think as long as we're growing, we're going to get challenged because we live inside of our mind and our body. And so we never take a class or read a book or take courses after courses or get a PhD in it. We never become perfect at it. We're, we're human beings and we're on a human journey. Right. One of the running commentary with one of my colleagues, was several of my colleagues, is that from the outside, when I have no stake in the situation, it's often easier to see what your choices are, what your avenues are, what the next steps, how you're getting yourself all wrapped up in something you don't need to get wrapped up in. That's not so hard to see from the outside. But when it comes to my personal life and personal situations where I do have emotions wrapped in, I don't have any clarity at all. So 100%. I mean, you know, I always tell people, think of me as the guy on the, you're the, uh, Olympian on the balance beam and I'm telling you not to, to point your toe or not, you know, like it's not, I'm not on the balance beam. I'm watching you. I'm observing you. And therefore I can be more objective. So when you're coaching, you have to be empathetic and understand where that person is and meet them where they are. But at the same time, you're objective in that you can see what's happening and they can't see it. And I always tell people, if I were you, I would have this same conflict because I would be you. Yeah. So there's not any judgment in it. It's the recognition that as a human being, sometimes you need an outside force to help you see clearly and help you and meet you right where you are. 